Hey YouTube, it's Amazing Buys where we discuss shopping, fragrance, and do reviews. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe, and let's see what's new at TJ Maxx. First, we are starting at the purse section. So this is a pretty lime green Carl Lagerfeld bag for $59.99. I feel like the best time to go purse shopping in TJ Maxx is around Mother's Day and Christmas because they bring out the best stuff. I found a lot of goodies this time. So this is a Michael Kors small bag for $89.99. I like how small it is. I just don't like that pebble material type of thing. All right. So next up was a Jason Wu bag, which really looks like a Steve Madden one. I kind of was had to check the tag just to make sure, but this is going for $49.99 and I like the puffy look to it. I feel like this would go great with like a white dress. It'll give like your outfit a color pop, but yeah, for sure. It's Jason Wu. Next up, we have some new backpacks. So around again, Christmas time, Mother's Day, they bring out the sets, but first I want to show you this Steve Madden bag. This is for $34.99. It's pink and clear and has little accessories with it. During the two times that I mentioned, they bring out the gift set. So it comes with the purse, the mini purse. Sometimes it's a backpack with like different accessories or a mini backpack with it. So if you're into that, check that out. You can get like a mommy and me type of thing. This is another pretty crossbody purse. It's like that puffy material. It's by the brand called Street Level and it's only for $29.99. Again, this would look nice with an outfit to give it a color pop. And then this is Steve Madden. This isn't new. They bring this out probably every summer. And this one is going for $29.99. Next up, we have some Michael Kors bag. I like how it has the white straps to it. But the, this purse is pretty big. This is going for $159.99. And the material was really, really nice. They had this in a couple of different colors. The other one that I found was this white one with the MK all over it. And it has the same material type of straps to it. Again, that's $159.99. Now, I think this one has the strap inside of it. This is $99.99. And this is pretty small, but I like how it has that lock on it. All right, so this is another small purse for $79.99. Again, Michael Kors. It has that crossbody, you know, detachable uh, strap to it. And I wasn't familiar with this brand, but it's $79.99. It seemed like the material was pretty good. I like the whole color block type of thing. And it's called Carl Hahn or something. I don't know. I never heard of the brand. All right. Of course, they have a bunch of Steve Madden. So they have fanny packs, crossbodies. They have backpacks and all kind of different colors. Majority of the time when you find this at TJ Maxx is pretty affordable. But I love like the summer colors, the hot pink the lime green, the bright orange, and those are only $29.99. They also had some gift sets at the bottom. Again, it's the purse and the mini purse. So they had that peach color and the lavender purple. They also had a lot of Nanette Lepore. That brand is always there. These purses was pretty cute, only $29.99. Again, they have these out for Mother's Day. And then the last table, they had a bunch of guest purses, Nanette Lepore. All of them are like, you know, bright, summer colors and some spring colors but yeah these were pretty much affordable now a huge purse that i found was coach this one is going for $129.99 so it is cheaper than that michael kors one but th that one is huge they had some steve madden duffel bags i really like this one it has like a classy look to it this is $59.99 they also have some solid colors so they have it in all black they have um, the green one with the black straps to it. Those are going for $49.99. This would be nice for traveling. Some people use them for gym bags. And I've seen this hat there before. It's only $16.99 and it's a Michael Kors bag. So this immediately caught my attention. This is a safari bag going for $39.99. I didn't really like this one too much. It's a little bit too much for me this purse was handcrafted in vietnam and i think it's so cute for $24.99 and i love this steve madden bag i love how it comes with like a bunch of accessories and this is going for $34.99 it's like the perfect size tote bag you can bring like to an outing to the beach i don't know i just love it i love the colors speaking of beach they have a lot of sun hats 
TJ Maxx always comes out with that this time of year and they're a pretty affordable price. This bag was on sale for $99. That is a Michael Kors bag. To the fragrance section, they had Tresor by Lancome. Now, don't be fooled. That's actually the body lotion for $39.99. They had Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani and that was $79.99. I spotted Gucci. Um, they did have Moschino Toy Boy, but I don't like that one. It has a weird peppery note to it. Of course, they have Toy 2, Victor and Rolf. I don't really like that one. They had a bunch of fluids. Um, they always have Versace gift sets, which you can get a pretty good deal for that at TJ Maxx. Now, Romance by Ralph Lauren is a really good fragrance. You can try that out at Ulta if you're not familiar with the scent. And then they had Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. A lot of people are looking for that. My store always has it. Now, this is the actual EDT for Alien, so... I was shocked that they had that. Moving on to the perfume that's out of the display, The Good Scent has a perfume called Mom. Now, I didn't get to try this, obviously, because it's a gift set. This is going for $12.99. It has top notes of Juicy Peach, Cherry Blossom Petals, and Pink Daisy, middle notes of Lily of the Valley, Night Blooming Jasmine, and base notes of Sandalwood and Warm Musk. I'm really interested in what this smells like, so comment below if you've tried this. It looks familiar, but I want to say I never tried it before. They also have Le Mans Gourmand sets going for $19.99. This has the Matcha, Vanilla Mousse, and some Tal Supreme in there. Okay, we have to talk about this. This is Jojoba and Coconut Scented Body Oil. This is only going for $5.99. Now, my friend told me about this. This thing smells so good. It smells like a coconut macaroon. And again, that for $5.99, that is a steal. Next up, we have Vanilla Essence by The Good Scent. This is going for $14.99, so let's go over the notes. For the top notes, we have Lemon Zest, Coffee Accord. Middle notes are Jasmine Flower, Orange Blossom, and Gardenia. And then the base is Vanilla Musk and Caramel. Judging by the notes, you would think that this fragrance would be a lot more complex but actually it isn't it kind of smells like a watered down vanilla mixed with florals only slightly musky i feel like this is a very gentle vanilla floral scent next up we have sand and fog this gift set is going for 9.99 and it comes with a scent called santorini this has notes of lychee, orange blossom, rose, ylang ylang, and vanilla. I'm interested to know what this smells like. And it also comes with vanilla sand that has notes of pistachio, cocoa, almond, caramel, and vanilla. It says that it's inspired by the California coast and both of those are perfume oils. Now, this is another one. I guess this is for Mother's Day. This has jasmine and cedar wood in there along with a bar of soap. Now, moving along to the perfumes, I'm spotting a lot of celebrity ones, so this is still by Jennifer Lopez. That's going for $16.99. I have no idea what that smells like. They had some True Religion, actually a lot of them, going for $9.99, and then they had a random Shakira one called I Am Rock. This is going for $12.99, so if you're into celebrity fragrances, they have that there at TJ Maxx. Next up, we have a Sand and Fog Room Spray, which this smelled like musty armpits with like tropical deodorant. <laughs> it smelled bad. I would definitely pass on that room spray. This is called Mandarin Oasis, and this smelled like a citrus scent, but it was very earthy. Sunkissed Sea Salt smelled like a mixture of Bath and Body Works at the beach and Sea Salt Coast. That was going for $12.99. It wasn't bad. I found this Homeworks hand soap and it smells like sugary peaches mixed with green notes. That is actually a pretty large size. So moving along, I found this in the home decor section. They had a lot of tropical items and items that's like for teachers. So this is going for $9.99. It's like a mixture of like a mug and a jar. I feel like it would it would be something like a nice gift for a teacher and you can put some stuff inside. They have these pretty mugs and I love this one. So it's strawberry themed. Oh my goodness. I love like the gold accent on it. That is going for $4.99. I found some Disney cups for $4.99. I feel like this would be perfect for like Disney lovers. They had a bunch of like Hello Kitty, Sanrio, Disney cups. You can find some really nice mugs at TJ Maxx. Whether it's different characters, florals, just whatever theme you're looking for they have it. All right, so moving along to the men's cologne. 
For some reason, they had the Ellis Brooklyn Rose scent there. It was for two different prices. So one was $29.99. The other one was $34.99. I don't know why that one was in the men's department. I've never smelled it. All right. So by the registers, they had Strawberry Macaroon. This was going for $12.99. I feel like this one smells like Strawberry Soda mixed with the Macaroon scent. I'm not too much of a fan of that Strawberry Soda note in there. So... I left it there. This is Enjoy by that Milestone brand that seems to have dupes of stuff. I wonder if this is like a Dior Joy dupe. I feel like it smelled perfumey. It wasn't something that I would personally buy. Next up, we have a Sand and Fog Trio set. This is a new, but I'm just showing you that they have it. It has Violet Sandalwood, Bloom, and Flora de Vanille. Now, this is a new good scent. This is Wild Flora. This has top notes of wild honeysuckle and orange blossom, middle notes of fresh peony, freesia, and rose, and the base is white woods, moss, and vanilla bean. Honestly, it smells like a watery white floral scent, so this is another one that unfortunately I would pass on. <laughs> it had like watery white florals and green notes to it. I was so excited to try this good scent called Italian Escape. It has notes of fresh lemon and pound cake, supposedly. The top notes are bright grapefruit, fresh lemons, and pear. Middle notes are gardenia petals and fresh tuberose. And then the base notes are creamy sandalwood and warm pound cake. You do get the fresh lemon scent, but the pound cake, unfortunately, fell short to it. It has that cake smell in there, but it smells like it's missing sweetness in it. This is going for $14.99, so if you spot this, let me know what you think. A really good one I found was White Vanilla, oh my goodness, by Sand and Fog. So far, this is probably my favorite vanilla by them. This smells so gourmand. It's sweet. It's warm. It smells like vanilla frosting. It's very, oh, you've got to try this. Just trust me. Just try this one. <laughs> Again, this is perfume oil, and this is going for $12.99. I found this by the register. Guys, you have to try this if you love gourmands. They also have the pistachio dream sitting there. I went over that one already, as you can see, and it was the same price, $12.99. By the register, they had some more mugs. These are all affordable, going for like $6.99 to $9.99 pretty much. Now, they always have Hello Kitty, but this is the first time I spotted a lot of Barbies. They had a lot of variety, and all of them were $7.99. So you have the striped one, you have a hot pink one with hearts on it, you have a sports themed one. These were really, really nice. It would be a great gift or something to just give to yourself if you are a Barbie fan. Okay guys, that's it for my walkthrough. I will be showing you Marshalls tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping.